Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how to create a Windows 11 bootable USB drive, specifically using an application called Rufus. We have a separate video covering specifically how to download and install Rufus, as well as how to use it to download Windows files. We are going to briefly cover that in this video as well, but if you want to see that video, click the link right here. Now, before we jump into the video, if you're interested in purchasing Windows 10, Windows 11, Microsoft Office, Windows Server, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so here we are on the Windows 11 home screen. Before we get into Rufus, we have a few options. We could download our installation media directly from Microsoft. We could also use their media creation tool. In this specific tutorial, we're just gonna show you guys all within Rufus how to do this, but I will briefly cover how to get your files from Microsoft, aka.ms slash download Windows 11. All right. From this web page, we have various installation options, whether we want to use the uh, media creation tool or we can download the, di the disk image here directly from the site. Again, we're going to show you guys within Rufus. So for now, we're just going to disregard this, but that is an option. Next up, we're going to navigate to rufus.ie. We'll put this link down below as well. And just download the correct version for your system. In this case, it would be rufus4.4.exe for our system. Now, once that's downloaded, you just double click the exe file to go ahead and install Rufus. It'll take a couple of minutes. Again, follow along with our video if you're not sure how to do that. So once you've done that, we're going to actually just open Rufus and select yes on the pop up. We're going to show you guys a couple different methods once we get here. So I have my USB drive plugged into the computer. Make sure you select the right one from the drop down. And then our boot selection, we want to be disk or ISO image. Now, assuming you downloaded the file elsewhere, we're just going to go ahead and hit the select button. And I'm going to click the Windows 11 installation that is currently on my desktop. That's the ISO image file. All right. And partition scheme. All right, quick note on partition scheme. MBR is the legacy BIOS option, and the GPT partition scheme will have the UFE boot setting enabled. If you're not sure what that means, we would recommend going with GPT for any system that is 10 years old or less. Target system, my only option is UFE for this partition scheme, so I'm going to leave the rest as is. Our status is ready, so I'll go ahead and click Start. Here we have some customization options. We could create a local account with a username. And we have a few other options as well. I'm currently just going to leave the top one checked, so I'll click OK. Now, this is a very, very important warning. If you proceed to do this, it's going to format and erase all of the data on whatever drive you have plugged into the computer. Please double and triple check that you do not have critical data on this drive before you proceed. So I'll click OK. All right, guys, so the status bar has just finished and our USB is ready. I'm not going to start it in this case because I'm not going to be doing any installation. So I can actually just close that, but I will show you guys. I'll go ahead and hit Windows key and E together, which will bring up our Explorer menu. And then here, if I click on to our DVD drive, we can see that this is now configured to be a bootable drive. Meaning if we select this from our boot menu in the BIOS settings of our computer, we can actually just install Windows directly from this drive. If you need any additional assistance with installing Windows, feel free to watch our previous videos on that. So that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions about any parts of that process, leave those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows 11, Windows 10, Microsoft Office, Windows Server, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.